Sports TNT NBA tip-off presented by Auto Trader from Atlanta Studio J. Ernie Johnson with Shaq and Kenny and Charles. The Sixers and Raptors took similar paths to the Eastern Conference semis. They both lost their openers at home, then ripped off four straight wins. They're both top five in field goal percentage and assists in the postseason. They both have star power. And they both have players who will ensure a huge TV rating in Cameroon, where the Sixers' Joel Embiid and the Raptors' Pascal Siakam were born. Fellas, uh, <clears throat> that is certainly a matchup to watch. But when we first knew this was going to be the series, the thing we talked about, Charles, was Ben Simmons, Kawhi Leonard, yes. their history in the regular season. It really helps you play defense. You, you, you really got two defenders. You can hone on. You yes. Can, you can hone in. The one thing that, that Kawhi is able to do, again, is he's probably one of the few guys who has the size to play out front. The other thing, Shaq, is like when I used to play against Muggsy Bogues, he was such a great thing, but he, he wasn't a great shooter. And, I, and they used to say, play off him. I was like, no, if you play off him, then you make him great. You make him a passer. But no, so what Kawhi does, he takes up the space, and we, Marcus all talked about real estate. He takes it up, and he says, no, I'm not going to let you see things, and I'm quick enough to stay with you and long enough to block your shot possible. And not only that, if, he's, if he jams him up, he could drive him to the help. Like, you know, Charles said, you know, he's playing against two defenders. But uh, he's definitely in his head, but, you know, Ben has to get through that. I'm with Toronto. Well, uh, I actually think this was a great under-the-radar pickup, Marcus Hall, because Marcus Hall is one of the few guys when he's standing next to Embiid, doesn't look small. Raptors held him to 92 points a game. Where's this one going to fall? Is is Toronto is Toronto going to be able to control these guys to some extent? Philadelphia shot 50 percent over their last four games. Toronto will because Kawhi is going to be all over Ben. Mark's going to be all over MB. The others are definitely have to going to, going to step up. But a lot of times, if the superstars don't get the others going, you really don't have a game plan. And yeah, you know, Kawhi I, I, is, that, is that type of guy. He really, uh, you know, Chuck's been saying this. I've been saying that he's definitely a superstar. They are at home. He's going to have them playing well. I like Toronto in this series because Philly hasn't proven that much to me yet.